All right, nice lab demonstrating an unconfined aquifer, having the soil, having the water enter as meteoric through here. You can see the indentations and the hydraulic action of the water as it was poured onto this kind of small contained aquifer. You got the amount of soil right here, which contains the silt, the sand and the clay and the slow percolation down through into this marble chips as a very porous high porosity medium or media or layer. You have the glass bottom of this container acting as the impervious surface. So the water is going to drain down. It's going to hit the bottom and then start to fill up through here and create an aquifer, a saturated zone. And up here will be our unsaturated zone, which has a ratio or percentage of water and it's also called Vidose. And here we have a clear water table, the top height or highest point of the unconfined aquifer underground at a certain depth. With increasing precip, you're going to have this water table rise up towards the surface, gets to the surface, you get natural springs and lakes and bogs and ferns and wetlands being formed on the surface through a high water table. And if there's areas or times of drought, the water table will go deeper down into the subsurface layers.